Hello, it is December 18th, a little bit before 1130 at night. Um, and first things first, I got my braces off. Uh, right now I'm wearing an Invisalign, and so I'm a little bit lispy. I got my braces off on uh, December 15th, Thursday, um, and Sunday, so I've had them on for, for a few, little over a few days. Um, but that's actually not what I'm going to talk about. Today, I'm posing another question. Are you introvert? Are you extrovert? Or are you both? Here's kind of what I want to talk about. Or let's get into it. So today, I went to a party. Mostly everybody there was vaccinated. I'm almost positive everybody was vaccinated. This was after work. I had worked a long day today um, and work at a place where I need to expel a lot of energy, right? So then I go to this party and uh, my boyfriend was gonna meet me there, um, which was like nothing bad. Like he was gonna, we were both working, we were gonna meet each other there and I ended up getting there first for like a while. And I noticed that I just wanted to kind of like not be in everything um and it wasn't like a scared thing i just i just didn't want to be around everybody you know i just wanted to be in kind of like the kitchen or the area and the host of the parties i love them both they were amazing oh my gosh yes living for them they're so awesome their house is gorgeous and they're nice but for some reason like i just felt like i needed to kind of like go in and stand back um and i felt like a little over stimulated with all the people there um so i actually hung back and for a little bit was had a great conversation with with one of the caterers and was just like talking and then um uh some other people came in the kitchen and i was like yeah let's like chat and i just wanted to kind of be in that area um at some another point i found myself in a different corner where there was just like a small group of like no more than like, four people in that area and chatted with them and yeah and i noticed that in myself like I have noticed it before but this is like the first time I really verbalizing it that I think that I'm um, an extroverted introvert and I kind of wanted to throw that out there if any of you feel like this so um, for me I have always been labeled as an extrovert because I have a very loud boisterous boisterous voice like I can speak really loud okay um, also, I speak with a lot of feeling, <laughs> using my hands a lot, um, and expression. I just really like to express myself verbally. I'm also a verbal processor, um, which means that for me, speaking anything that I'm thinking or anything that I'm hearing is best how I learn. So even if I'm reading a book or reading something, reading it aloud is actually easier for me to maintain all that and bring all that information back in and I can learn that way. So loud voice very expressive verbal processor automatically labeled as an extrovert but i actually fuel and get fueled off by maybe myself or no more than like two people i i get two or three people i get fueled by smaller numbers of people and then i then once i'm fueled up then i can rock out with a lot more people um, and I'm just like noticing that I kind of think I might have been labeled, mislabeled, um, which is it's fine. Do whatever. It's not like a trigger or anything, but I'm just saying that I, I think I might be more introverted than people think. Um, and wanted to kind of throw that out there your way. Um, not saying I'm not extroverted. I'm also, I'm just also just not, I'm saying that I could also be introverted. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I have noticed that like when I'm around a lot of theater people, I'm like really engaged and using that voice and da 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 and yelling and, and being loud and singing. But I think for me, it's really that I'm using whatever energy I have and that's a medium where I know that I can speak loud so I'm able to express myself fully, right, of how I feel. But it still doesn't mean that that's where I get fueled. So. We had gone to a different uh, gathering of people where there were some uh, theater people that um, had I had done a show with, and it was the first time we'd seen each other since the show was over. So I was like, whoa, yeah, and like verbally pro doing my stuff, yeah. And then all of a sudden I was like, I'm done. Like the light gets shut off real quick for me sometimes um, where I'm like, I can only do so much and we're done. But I think some people think that that's where I get my best fuel is by being on. 
Uh, something else I've noticed, and then we're just going to use YouTube as like my self-exploration to just kind of like learn more about myself. Yay, come along for the ride. Um, I notice that when I'm nervous, um, and also when I'm, sometimes this happens when I'm overstimulated, that I'll do one of three things. One of them is that I will, it's not, um, it's not scripting, but I tend to just like talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. So I will just talk myself in like, not like a circle, but I just won't, I will do nonstop talking. So that's something that happens. The second thing that happens is I get very, very funny. Um, and I'm not saying like, I'm amazing and I'm the funniest person ever. <laughs> what I'm saying is that it, it kind of goes along with that talk and talk and talk, but it just is like a joke and a joke and a joke and a joke and a joke. And usually people are laughing so hard um, that all that I kind of am just like I, I get spent. It's almost like I'm I'm draining all of my energy. Sometimes that also happens when I'm really tired too, where I, I get jokey when I'm ex exhausted. The third thing that happens is when um, when I'm overstimulated. And I don't have that energy as I just, I just shut off. Like, like I said, it's like someone flicks the switch and I just shut right off and I'm like done. I'm like, we're done. We're just done. And it seems like rude, but it's, it's just the thing where I'm like, I no longer have the energy. I'm so tired. Like, it's not even a tired, it's just I'm so emotionally drained. And why I really think that it must be like an extrovert, introverted thing is that, um, I worked all day. I don't think I slept very well. Um, I was very exhausted. But when, when I was at this party, I kind of got exhausted kind of quickly. Like I was, I was spent relatively quickly. Like, and um, around 7:30, a little bit after, like I was like I was done. 7 7:30, I was already exhausted. My body had just been drained. It is now 11:30, and I'm doing laundry. I'm like on my second <laughs> load of laundry. Um, just doing some, some quick stuff around the house and I'm not exhausted. I'm not, I'm like, my body's tired, but I'm not as tired as I was at the party. And I'm wondering if that also links up to like that, um, energy spent when you're around a lot of people. Um, and this is just something like, have you ever experienced that? Have y'all ever experienced that where you feel tired and then once you get alone, you're like, I'm good. Um, um, I'm, you know, you get your second win and it's not even like a second win where you're just jumping around. I just now feel like I can think. And, um, yeah. So that was just something I noticed and learned about myself that, um, I think I might be introverted with an extroverted voice, <laughs> extroverted voice, vocal box. <laughs> um, so yeah, just something. Uh, and I think too, this is the season where people get overstimulated because there's Christmas, there's Hanukkah, there's all this stuff, there's Kwan, there's everything happening with like celebration lights and you're just, you're drained. And then also with the, the, um, lower light for those of us that live in, um, an area that is cold you just get lower, you get less light and warmth. And so you're just, you're tired and it's like a lot. Um, so I don't know if that has a lot to do with it, but yeah, hey, I just wanted to throw that out there. So let me ask the question again. Are you introverted, extroverted, or are you both? <laughs> so that's basically it. I'm going to um, stop talking and edit this video so I can put it up so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave one below. Um, and um, if this is your first time seeing me, thank you for joining. Um, just going to be doing these little like I feel like these are like side chats <laughs> um but yeah thanks for visiting and um hope you guys have a, a safe whatever you celebrate or whatever you don't just have a safe one of those um and uh we'll see you guys next time